Napoleon Hill's renowned book, Think and Grow Rich, is a treasure trove of wisdom and guidance on personal development and success. In this segment, we will delve into the 11th chapter, where Hill explores the fascinating concept of harnessing our inner energies for creative thinking and unlocking our innate brilliance. This chapter delves into the realm of the sixth sense, a faculty that distinguishes geniuses from ordinary individuals. We'll explore how this faculty can be cultivated and how some of history's greatest minds have tapped into it to achieve extraordinary success. The Sixth Sense, a gateway to genius. In the realm of personal development, the concept of the sixth sense takes center stage. According to Hill, when our thoughts ascend to an exalted plane, the creative faculty of our minds gains freedom for action. This unique state allows the sixth sense to function, making us receptive to ideas that might otherwise elude us. This faculty, Hill argues, is the differentiating factor between a genius and an ordinary person. Cultivating the Sixth Sense The Sixth Sense is not a mystical power bestowed upon a select few. Rather, it can be cultivated and developed through consistent use. It is the same faculty that governs our conscience. Hill points out that great artists, writers, musicians, and poets become exceptional because they rely on their creative imagination. They often describe their best ideas as hunches, which originate from deep within their creative minds. One of the remarkable anecdotes Hill shares is that of a great orator who achieved greatness only after closing his eyes to rely entirely on his creative imagination. This orator revealed that he did so because it allowed him to speak through ideas that came to him from within, rather than relying solely on external information. Similarly, a prominent financier adopted the practice of closing his eyes for a few minutes before making significant decisions. He explained that in this state, he could draw upon a source of superior intelligence. These anecdotes highlight the power of harnessing one's inner energies and the creative faculty to access deeper insights and make better decisions. The Case of Dr. Elmer Gates Dr. Elmer Gates, a lesser-known but highly accomplished scientist, serves as an exemplary case of someone who harnessed the sixth sense for creative innovation. Dr. Gates amassed over 200 useful patents, many of which were foundational inventions. His method of cultivating the creative faculty is both significant and instructive for those seeking to attain a genius-like status. Dr. Gates had a specially designed personal communication room in his laboratory. This room was soundproof and could be completely darkened. Within it, he kept a table with a pad of writing paper and an electric push button to control the lights. When Dr. Gates wanted to tap into his creative imagination for a particular invention, he would enter this room, shut out all external stimuli, and concentrate solely on the known aspects of the problem. In this heightened state of concentration, he would hold the problem in his mind until it was taken over by his subconscious. Then, he would clear his mind of all thought and patiently wait for the answer to flash into his conscious mind. Sometimes, the results were immediate and precise, while at other times, they were negative, depending on the development of his sixth sense. Edison's experience, another illustrious example of the power of creative imagination, is Thomas Edison. Edison tried out over 10,000 different combinations of ideas through synthetic imagination before tapping into his creative faculty. It was this faculty that ultimately led to the invention of the incandescent light bulb and the talking machine. Edison's journey underscores the importance of persistence in cultivating the sixth sense. The Source of Genius Love and Desire Hill delves deeper into the source of genius, highlighting the role of love and desire in awakening the creative faculties of the mind. He mentions Abraham Lincoln, who, upon meeting Anne Rutledge, experienced a profound love that stimulated his creative imagination. This newfound inspiration propelled him to greatness. Hill goes on to make a statement of great significance asserting that history is replete with examples of great leaders whose achievements can be traced back to women who kindled their creative faculties through the stimulation of sexual desire. Napoleon Bonaparte is cited as an example. 
When inspired by his first wife, Josephine, he exhibited invincibility, but his decline began when he put her aside. Sexual desire as a powerful stimulus hill argues that the human mind responds strongly to stimulation and among the most potent stimuli is the urge for sex. When harnessed and transmuted, this driving force has the potential to elevate individuals to higher levels of thought. This higher plane of thinking empowers them to master the challenges and distractions that often hinder progress on the lower plane. Regrettably, Hill observes that only geniuses have fully harnessed this power, while others have merely indulged in the experience of sex urge without recognizing its greater potential. This, he suggests, is the reason why there are fewer geniuses compared to the vast number of people who remain unfulfilled. Napoleon Hill's exploration of the sixth sense and the creative imagination in Think and Grow Rich offers profound insights into personal development and the pursuit of success. The ability to tap into our inner energies and cultivate the creative faculty is not limited to a select few, but is accessible to anyone willing to invest the time and effort. By following the examples of individuals like Dr. Elmer Gates and Thomas Edison, who harnessed their creative faculties to achieve remarkable innovations, we can learn to tap into our own genius. Additionally, understanding the role of love and desire in stimulating the creative faculties reminds us of the importance of emotional and intellectual connection in our pursuit of greatness. The concept of the sixth sense and the creative faculty provides a framework for individuals to unlock their potential and achieve their goals. Here are some practical steps to explore and apply these insights in your own life. Begin by reflecting on your own creative faculties and the state of your sixth sense. Are you in touch with your inner creativity? Do you rely on your hunches and intuition and decision-making? Self-awareness is the first step in harnessing your innity brilliance. Practice problem-solving using your creative imagination. When faced with challenges or decisions, take a moment to visualize the potential solutions. Trust your instincts and inner guidance. Over time, this practice can strengthen your sixth sense, persistence and patience. Understand that developing your creative faculty takes time and persistence. Edison's 10,000 attempts before perfecting the incandescent light bulb are a testament to the power of perseverance. Don't be discouraged by initial failures. They are part of the learning process. Embrace love and desire. Recognize the role of love and desire in awakening your creative faculties. These emotions can be powerful motivators. Whether it's a personal relationship, a passion for your work, or a deep desire to achieve a particular goal, allow these emotions to fuel your creative endeavors. Transmutation of energy. Learn to transmute your energy, particularly the energy associated with sexual desire, into productive channels. Instead of dissipating this energy, redirect it toward your goals and creative pursuits. This can provide you with a potent source of motivation and creativity. Remember that personal development and unlocking your innate brilliance are ongoing journeys. It requires dedication, self-awareness, and a willingness to explore your own potential. By incorporating the principles and practices outlined in Hill's Insights, you can embark on a path of self-discovery and transformation that can lead to remarkable achievements in your personal and professional life. Hill's message is one of empowerment. We have within us the potential for genius, waiting to be unlocked through the cultivation of our creative imagination and the transmutation of our inner energies. Think and Grow Rich serves as a timeless guide for those who seek to unleash their innate brilliance and achieve their highest aspirations in life. Thanks to watch the video until here. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks, I will see you in the next video.